Welcome back to day 11 of the internet trying to convince me that this Fireball 510 is not the best bench vise. You guys say this number six record is the best bench vise. And in today's experiment, we are gonna be doing torque test. In case you missed it yesterday, we did torque testing with a pencil to see if the 510 can beat the record. Go watch that one if you guys haven't seen it yet. But today we're gonna to get real scientific. We're gonna actually pull out the torque wrench and do this properly and see the real difference between the two vices. This is the real information we want. How much pressure can these vices put together? So I'm gonna be using a probe, a load cell, and this funky attachment, and we're gonna make the number six go first, so I can put a socket on it. The load cell in here, 100 foot-pounds, everybody knows the rules. We're gonna see where she clicks off at. Here we go. I'm gonna count it out, 800, 15, 4,000, 5,190 was where she peaked out. Okay, let's see where the hard tail lands us. Here we go. 4,000, 7,000, 9,000, 10,000, 12,208 is where she peaked out at. This is why everybody loves this vise. And the cool thing about it is we have 100 foot pounds on here. Watch how easy it is to release. One handed, whoop. So as you can see, the hard tail vise really outputs a lot of force. Now here's where I think the confusion comes from from everybody saying the number six vice is one of the best. So when this vice comes up to a full stop, you probably feel like you're putting in thousands and thousands of pounds, right? But realistically, this vice is actually really weak. And there's one of the reasons why there are probably a lot of them still around. They just don't have a lot of clamping force, right? So, but they make you feel like you've clamped a lot. And I wanna demonstrate with just this simple C-clamp. I know that this C-clamp can output more than this vice with this little tiny handle. Let me show you. We're just gonna clamp this probe right to the side of this table, right? Okay, here we go, cranking it up. 500, 800, 2,000, 3,000. I think that's the max. But look at that. We didn't quite get to 100 foot-pounds of torque, but we're almost at 4,000 pounds of pressure. That's why I feel like that this vise is just weak, but it gives you the impression that you have a lot of clamping force, when reality, 4,000 pounds, yeah, that's a lot, but it's really not that much. C-clamp can produce that kind of force pretty easily. All right, so that concludes day 11 on torque test with these two vices. The 510's on top again as the winner. One more reminder, I know you're gonna come into the comments and give me all the hate. If this vice was really as good as it says it is, why is the handle bent and why is there hammer marks all over it? If someone needs to hammer on something to get enough torque on there, this vice is not designed properly. So that's my two cents. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be doing some destructive testing in the next few videos, so stay tuned for that.